Sacred Heart Church, who's one of our guests tonight, and Mac McQuinney will give the invitation. Let us pray. We thank you for everything. That sounds loud. <laughs> we thank you again for once again being able to meet here tonight as alumnus of the CCRS. We have been blessed to be here together to enjoy the memories and have our school, old school friends. We ask your guidance in the class of one 1999 as they go out into this new phase of their lives. We are proud of our school heritage and pray that the con tradition continues for all the youth in the community. All of us thank you for the gr grace and blessings. Thank you for this gathering tonight. And now we'd like to bless this food to your, our use and your, or your service. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Here, here, none of that. <laughs> so the buffet will start with one table at a time, and we'll start with Mrs. St. Maxon, who's our longest, oldest graduate here. From the class of 1921, and If you'd like to start, and then we'll start with the class of 1950, a 50 year class right here. <laughs> if they would please stand and remain standing after I call their names. The Executive Director is Dick West. <laughs> President Marie Laramie Gannett. Vice President Ann Laramie Smith. <laughs> Secretary Kathy Munson Devins. <laughs> Treasurer Shirley Styles Duchon. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce the many alumni that are in attendance tonight starting with Mrs. St. Maxon from the class of 1921, and anyone else from the classes of, in the 1920s, would you please stand? Are there any members from the classes of the 1930s? Please stand. Eighty-four, eighty-nine. 
94? About 1999. <laughs> 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 Is anyone else here from any other class that was not announced? I got it. 52. 47.
honor the memory of all the alumni who have passed away. The following alumni that we know that we know of died during the past year. Carol Tate Bouvier, 1930. May West, 28. Delima Bashard, Sister Mary Loretta, 1931. Monica Laramie, 1961. Ralph Parrott, 1952. Bertha Trombley Dixon, 1928. Daniel Tebow, 1984. Donna Baker Montgomery, 1970. If there's anyone that I've not mentioned, please acknowledge them now. Margaret, uh, Tom Drew died last summer. I can't tell you what class he was in before five years ago. Thank you. Anyone else? Now, the scholarship award that was given out last night at the graduation was for $1,000 from the Alumni Association, and it was given to Kim Parrott, whose mom, Linda Manor Parrott, was in the class of 1972. And the award is presented to a graduate senior who plans to go on to a higher education. The recipient's parent must be an alumnus of CCRS and must also have been a paid, mem paid up member of the association for at least two years prior to the granting of the award. Selection for the scholarship is based upon these qualifications. Academic excellence, individual progress and achievement, service to the school, service to fellow students. And also we will be giving Jamie Cody $500 for continuing her education. She received the award last year when she graduated. Alumnus of the Year Award, and this year we have two very special people that have contributed a lot to the Alumni Association as well as the town, the town of Jay-Z, and Kathy's going to help me present these awards. He was born in West Jay-Z in 1936. This, this person has made many contributions to the community. If you have ever spent time with him or talked to him, he is a man of integrity, sincerity, and humor. He often tells his three children and now seven great-grandchildren, with one on the way, the many years of struggle and hard work both at home and on the breadware farm. He often tells of the long walks in the snow and freezing weather to Shazy Central Rural School. Why did he have to walk? He will respond with a mischievous smile because I got kicked off the bus. <laughs> it is those times that have given him character and much love and concern to better his community and to make it easier for those who follow. He graduated in 1956. He owned and operated the Shady Supermarket. Since then, he's been very active. <laughs> he was honored as a senior citizen, a senior citizen of the year. <laughs> He served as volunteer fireman with 28 years of service. He was founder of the Shady Com Chamber of Commerce and Shady Senior Citizens. He's very active in politics where he has served over 27 years and is currently a town councilman. He was honored as Democrat of the Year. He served as trustee of the Sacred Heart Parish of Shady and is still active with the Shady Alumni Association. In July, you can always find him at the rec park conducting the Shady Old Home Day. Along with all of this, his service, he is a devoted, devoted husband, a wonderful father, and leader to his three children. He, is, he has three children, Randy, Susan, and Sheila, who all graduated from Shady Central Rural School. He's known as Donald to some and Bucket to others. Dad, father, and honey by his wife, Betty, and Poppy to his grandchildren. But to his community, he is known for all his understanding and someone who made the lonely folks feel a little less lonely and the happy ones a little happier and we thank him for all of this. Our other alumnus of the year 
graduated in 1954. He went to work on the following Monday as a bricklayer and worked for the local contractors until 1964. In 1964, he formed his own contracting business with his brother Bob, class of 1956, and it's still going. In June of 1957, he married Myla and had four children, Joe, Lori, Todd, and Jim. They are all alumni of CCRS. Those children produced seven grandchildren. He and his uncle Bill Wood started the Shazy Alumni Association in 1980. He was a very active he was very active in the Shady Lions Club and was MC at just about all the old homes days. Now he's leading that up to the younger generation. He was on the Sacred Heart Church Board and is now in the church choir. He tried politics, but that didn't last. <laughs> he, was one, he was on the, the town board for six years, but lost his last election by one vote. He has been a wonderful husband, father, and grandfather, always helping out when he can. He always loves his work, and although he's retired, goes to work every day. <laughs> <laughs> Our alumnus of the year, Richard West. Shirley Ducharme for keeping all our money straight. 
And I'll tell you one thing, she keeps it straight. <laughs> Dick West and Donald, Mr. Bouquet, two birds in the years, and he fooled them good and I like that. And also Betty. Kathy Devon, she keeps all our minutes straight. Or tries to. Not easy when everybody gets talking though at one time. And Smith comes in from Plattsburgh to our meetings. He's here to help us all the time. I have to have notes because I'm old and I forget. <laughs> Lori Miller for helping to put out the newsletter each year. It's a lot of work there. And of course the new kids in the block. Nancy Vesco and Rondo Mohegan and Jane Hess. Uh, Rhonda and Nancy also put out your, they're the one that produced the newsletter. And Lori's the one that printed it for us. Jane has just taken over the team from uh, Betty, and we're hoping to get somebody else to help to take over the main point. Special thanks goes to Nyla West. She's not even an alumnus, but has put many, many years of hard work doing all, a lot of this work. And I think she needs a <laughs> She should tell big no. <laughs> and we also have Florence, which is Yucky, Natal, and my husband, Liam, and who put them, uh, helped us with the newsletter. Neither one of them are alone this either. But we tell them they have to do it, so. <laughs> so, we need help, desperately. If you want your banquets to continue, you're going to have, somebody's going to have to help us. If you're within 3,000 miles, we need you. Just <laughs> I, at the end of the table, there is a sheet of paper. Just put your name on, your phone number. We'll call you. There's so many things. It's not bad because Mr. Benjamin takes all of this out of here, that we hire Mr. Baker to clean the hall. But it's to set up, and it's to make the arrangements. We have to come to our alumni meetings. We have one a month, I think, it's about. They don't last long. We don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all the time. <laughs> and we just need younger blood, because that's old, we get very getting tired. We've done it a lot of years, and I had it as much as Betty has done it centuries. She's done it in big, since the beginning, okay. Would you please all sign up? And it's a very warm night, and I'm not going to talk anymore. <laughs> Thank you. We would also like to have, if anybody has any address changes or any information, and please read the newsletter because we really could use some input. It's not, it's not going to be there if we don't get the information from anybody. Um, Dick West will now lead us in God Bless America. <laughs> It's become a tradition at the end of the program to sing God Bless America. Um, a lot of areas throughout the world do not like to thank the good Lord for the beautiful things they have. But here at Shay Z, we really don't care because if we get arrested, we're all going together. <laughs> so, we are going to uh, sing God Bless America. We'll all stand, and as we stand, you can just picture the sun setting in the back of Great Gables, the water flowing over the dam, gradually making its way to Lake Champlain. <laughs> Only in the North Country do we have this great scenery. So as we wind up here in George with the old Kate Smith song. Okay. With our MC. God bless America. Land. Why, what's wrong? God bless 
Now, listen, you don't have to hurry away because somebody else is going to clean up tomorrow. So just sit down and relax and visit. Nobody's going to be asked to clean up. So don't run away. Just enjoy <laughs> and George is going to continue to play. And how about a hand for this beautiful young lady that had enough nerve to get up in front of this group tonight. She's a great gal. Enjoy, stick around and listen to George. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.